special shout out to all my awesome tier 3 members and patrons, Riptide, Anik D, Z Wanderer, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yushika Bay, and Medlo for their amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to Sinestrai, War of the Walkers mod. We just have to be careful of all these wandering zombies. I need to keep doing quests. There are still these kill animal quests, but they're not class quests. They're just continuous quests that keep going and going and going. Uh, that we could actually go and do as well. I think, you know what? Stuff that we are going to keep, I'll put in here for now. Steel shovel, there's a crappy one. We can actually scrap that one. Yeah, we have another knife like that. Thank you. Yeah, basically all the armor pieces and stuff have to go in here. Um, I do want to sell them. But I think it's going to be better to first go and repair them and then see if we can sell them. Even this gun, what's this? MK23. This must be a different gun than the one we have already. The 11911 or something. I don't know what that's called again. Major tune-up mod that's for this vehicle. I wonder. Reduce fuel consumption. I wonder how many mods my current vehicle can have on. Because it's still... Uh, it's I don't know. Uh, the mini bike sometimes can have way more or way less depending on the mod. Okay, these can go on weapons, but for now we'll put the mods away. Uh, yeah, put that mod away, and I want to see if we can't quickly modify this. Lag. Lag, lag, lag. You open that up, and yeah, you can have two more mods. Nice. And that's the major tune-up. We have a small tune-up at the base already. Say what? Say what? What's with all the lag all of a sudden? Please don't crash. Please don't crash. What just happened? Okay, that was weird. I tried to put this on while I was still in that menu and almost broke the game. I need to be careful of stuff like that. Okay, so we have a little bit of space to work with over here. I should probably see what's on my drone that might be able to go on my bike. Or the other way around. Because basically the drone needs to follow you into places and it can be storage that you can put stuff on. So it makes sense that you have it on you at all times. Please don't be... Yeah, it's not going to be this PI again. Nice. It'll be this one across the road. I was about to say, please don't let it be the same one again. We want to do different ones every time. I wish there was a mod that uh, that actually did that for you. You can, you can get quests, but it's going to be at new bases every single day. Like, every quest you get is never at the same pure eye. I think that'd be really, really cool. Am I still crafting? No. Okay, so for now, we can actually go and put that there then. And then, what else can I drop? What else can I drop? I think those can only stack to five, so we can drop that. We're not really going to wrench any cars, so we'll put that in there, and then... Why not? Like so. Boom. I should probably put... Oh, yeah. Let's put all the stuff that's on my drone in there as well. It makes sense, right? Because... Or oh, as much as I've possible. I don't think it can. This. Okay, I, I was thought I had a plan just now, but my drone needs to be able to carry stuff for me as well. Ooh, drone, where are you? Okay, uh, let's keep all the schematics in there now. Even the work stuff from the... Classes. What else can go in there? Mods, perhaps. Weapon parts. Boom. Okay, so yeah, it's not a lot of space. We only have this much left to loot. Let's hope that's enough to loot the whole place. There's some almost always dogs over here for me. Where is, are you, Marlene? No, she's Arlene. I, I don't know why, but I'm not getting Darlene. Or was it Marlene? I I'm so... There's Arlene, Marlene, Darlene. <laughs> it's so easy to... No, no, no! That was a waste just now. And it actually took... Oh, I just wasted a really good bandage. Accidentally. But yeah, I'm going to take all of these mushrooms just in case we need it later for something. Um, I should be able to power attack. But the power attacks are so slow. It winds up for so long and then... Boom. Boom. But as long as... I, I just need a Grave Digger mod and I'll be able to one-shot these ores easily. I'm just afraid we're going to need the mushrooms. I think you might need it for the XP elixir. I'm not sure. But I'm making sure that we grab everything now so we don't have to worry later. What's over here? Uh, eh. Eh. We can't really afford to just grab everything because of the space. We have a real big space issue uh, right now. Should probably just keep an eye on the stairs as well. <laughs> just in case... Aw. Oh, I scrolled the wrong way. Just in case a zombie comes down from the top, we need to be able to defend ourselves. These, I need that anvil schematic. Unless I just go buy one from the trader. That's if the trader has one. Incoming enemies, prepare for conflict. Where's Darlene? Oh, I didn't realize he's feral until just now. I was trying to look up and see if I can see any zombies from top. Now, this is just a clear and fetch, right? Fetch to me on this side. I'm just gonna do fetch and clear then. 
You don't always have to go for all the resources in the place. Although, obviously, that's going to help you out in the long run. But I just want to focus. Ooh, hello. I just want to see how fast we can get quests done. The more before the reward, the better. I want explosives. So if you can run through PIs like I'm doing right now, it's going to be awesome for you. Yeah, let me see if I can't just run quickly. The bookcase over there. I need to be careful. I, I keep forgetting that I can jump really high right now. So it's super easy to accidentally fall down. Or bump your head on something and fall down. And there are zombies, but there might be something in this one. Sometimes you can actually see these can be looted. Other times you just don't know which can and which can't. I'm trying to think of space as well because you're about to run out. Come on, where the hell, Darlene? Okay, we're supposed to go that way, I think. So for now, let me just quickly loot this. There's one of your eye that I really missed where you used to fall into like a small room with loot and stuff. It seems a ton of your eyes have been taken out in Alpha 20. Although, I was watching a stream where uh, people were talking and the one guy said he actually has an Alpha 19 bookstore in his game. And to test whether he was right or wrong, I actually told him, okay, uh, does it have a like, uh, window washer thing on the side of the building? As you guys know, that's an Alpha 20 now. He's like, no. So he actually has the Alpha 19 bookstore for some reason in his game. So I don't know if it's like a random gen exclusive, like a rare thing to have or what's going on. But he's super lucky. I be careful of these fast ones. Oh, I love this. I love this so much. Okay, it says return to trader so we can just loot. And then, boom. While I'm walking, this thing has such a long wind up that while I'm walking, I can just re click the button. I walk into the break. Okay, so what are you gonna give us? Let's see, let's see. Ooh, this is a Remington. Isn't this like a. This is a hunting rifle, right? Or is it a shotgun? Guys, I don't know my guns. Like, at all. I've never held a gun, never fired a gun. The only time I've ever had to do, gun, uh, do anything with guns is like in this game. So I know kind of a little bit with like the, the name of the gun or whatever. But not like what the game is really like in or the game. The gun is really like in real life. Uh, let's see if we can't just break this. So we need to go and hand all of this in. But first things... Oh, I need to drop stuff. Hopefully I have some space to just quickly drop stuff. Or at least w when we get to the trader, we have enough space on our storage to be able to just accept the coins and stuff. I want to see just before we talk to him how much space we have. I think we actually have enough space left, right? Ooh, hello. I just realized you two. Remember, we need aloe. Like a ton of aloe vera for a ton of um, health kits. So every time I see some aloe, I need to pick it up. But although, sometimes I just forget and drive right over it. Okay, so we're quickly going to go. Yeah, I also want to just do a little bit of prep for the Horde Knight. And then I want to figure out where the hell she's going to stand. Because she needs to help me fire at the zombies. Okay, let's see, let's see. Oh, wrong glasses. Okay, um... Shotgun ammo? Well, we're not really running out of shotgun ammo at the moment. So I wonder if I should buy... Well, we might need it during Horde Night, so we'll go for the shotgun ammo. This sells for 161. 161. So, yeah, let's go for the range then. What else do you have for us? Let's see. Fetch and clear, super close. 3-6. This one's the closest. If you agree to... I just want to make sure we do this because I think my better barter is still not maxed. I don't know. This works differently than vanilla, right? So I might be th overthinking this right now. Where is the better barter perk again? The VR. Play level 100. I'm so close to being able to get some of this stuff. Five levels away. Ooh, this sells for quite a bit. Nice. So it seems the, the lower the gauge, the bigger the shots are. The smaller, the, the bigger the gauge, the smaller the ammo. I don't know if I said that right just now. Okay, we're gonna get more ammo. Thank you. Let's see, something really close by, really close by. A bit of a problem. Oh, I would kiss you, but um, you know, apocalypse hygiene and all. Apocalypse hygiene and all that. Wait, did I not have a quest for him? Maybe next time. Did I not have a quest for? Survive. Wait, what? Oh, did I not do his quest yet? No, I accepted. Wait, what? Did I accept something from him just now? I can't remember accepting any quest rewards. That's weird. That has me scratching my head right now. <laughs> what just happened? 
I know I spoke to him and to her, but not to him. And the quests on the map are definitely new. Uh, none of these were there already. I am so confused right now. Okay, lady, you are going to follow me, actually. We first want to put all of our stuff away, and then you are going to follow me to the new horde base, and we're going to figure out where the hell to put you. I want to make, like, a sniper's nest for her that she can shoot down at the zombies. But I don't know... I don't know how the am, uh, ammo works, like, the aiming and everything of her. Um... I might think she shoots a certain way and then set it up and then she doesn't help at all during Horde Night. That's actually a fear I have right now. Damn, look at all the weapons. I need to go actually off camera and work out on what we want to keep, what we want to drop. Where are you? Oh man. Drone, there you go. But yeah, basically a ton of these guns we have to drop and a ton of these guns we can still keep. Which one's which is going to depend on a few factors. I just want to keep the best guns and the rest that we can actually sell or scrap or whatever for pieces. Hopefully with some iron as well. Ooh, just saw that. Just saw that. Okay, now we have to drop stuff again. This is the most tedious part of the game, I feel. Like, there's so much stuff that you want to drop that it takes forever to drop. Ammo. Medical. Farming. Oh, I thought that's seeds, but that's schematic as well. Okay, tools, mods, over here, that's ranged mods, oh wow, there was actually a ton of tools in my inventory as well, nice, and boom, now that box is full, and we can't even put this gun in, see, that's why I need to go through all of this, and scrap the crappiest quality, like this one, if you repair it, might be able to sell for more than 100, and then I need to see one of these, oh, it's a tube extender, that's what I was looking for, basically, if you put this on, but it doesn't go on this gun. If you put this on, this is the thing that gives you more ammo. Like three more shots, six more shots. I think this is going to give you like six more shots. I was wondering what the hell I was talking about the other day. Because I, I know I was right, but it felt like I was wrong because I just couldn't figure it out. Oh, okay. No, I'm going to start putting this with the clothing then. Hazmat, hazmat. We only need one hazmat suit, right? Master, we are not alone. Yeah, she's going to protect us. Don't worry. She is awesome. Wait, why are you not shooting that zombie lady? Lady! Like, dude! She's supposed to guard you, but she's only pointing in the wrong one way. There was a zombie right here, lady. Are you out of ammo or something? Oh, imagine you actually have to restock your ammo. Oh no, this is a wandering horde coming by. Okay, uh, ranged. I should actually make a patrol the area. I think that's going to be more likely for her to actually help me out in a situation like this. Because at the moment, she's just standing there. She's just chill. She's not doing anything. Earlier, I heard sh shots like she was defending the whole place, but it doesn't seem like she is anymore. It's only a shame that we actually use that much cobble on this place. Now that we're definitely going to be moving, I, I really, really, really regret moving. Oh, you're wasting that much. Okay, that's resources over there. That's coin. That is this. I don't even mind if they do a little bit of damage to the walls. Because we're going to be moving here anyway. So it doesn't matter what the space looks like by the time we go. Okay, so guns, melee. That one we need to keep right now. Let me just do this. And this is going to annoy me if I don't kill this thing soon. My senses have picked up something. What bothers me is it's been a really long time. Because we've had a wandering horde. But I wonder why that is. Where are the wandering zombies? Is it bugged out? Is it just... Uh, it's not the time yet? I don't know. Okay, so... Yeah, a melee, as you guys can see, we don't have, really have that much of a problem. But here was ranged. I wonder if I shouldn't put all the mods... Either on weapons, or at least try and put the weapon... You know what? The weapon parts, perhaps. We can do this, we can do this. And then the weapon parts we can put over here. It just makes sense to use the space better, but at the moment, we are way too full for my liking. Okay, ammo goes over here. And boom. So we have a full shotgun. Now we can really go work on that horde base a bit. I wonder if I should do the fetches first. But then again, it's almost a horde night, so I want to make sure this is done before horde night. 
Uh, the cobble blocks are on us. And then I think you tell her to follow me right now. So you follow me. As soon as I climb on a bike, she disappears. It's like she's driving with me. And as soon as I climb off the bike, all of a sudden she's there. That's kind of cool. I thought she's going to be like running behind you or teleporting like the drone, but nope. This is actually really cool. I want to see though. How did the zombies get up here last time? They almost passed better this side than the other side. Come on, I need Darlene. Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Yeah, you do your thing over there. I'm going to go over here. Okay, so I'm going to waste a bit of cobble right now because I want to make this a proper horde base. I'm going to do that. I'm going to lift it a bit. And then we can put some wooden frames underneath. So this is what we're going to be standing on to get away from the zombies. Um, oh, crap. I don't want to stand too close to that side because then it's going to encourage them to pass from that side. I just want to stand over here and shoot. Now, I need to figure out how the hell I'm going to tell her to follow me up a ladder or something. Um... Oh, I wonder if they shoot each other. They shouldn't, right? They should be able to work as a, uh, as friends. But yeah, uh, so the zombies in the path over here. I wonder if I shouldn't put like bars over here. If I were to put a bar and uh, fake them, they should be able to still pop because they're going to see there's a hole over here. I'll show you what I mean right now. So we're going to do this. First, I need to get her through over here. Come on. Okay, and then while you're up here, please don't fall down. I'm going to have to make such a massive build just to get her back up here if she falls down. Ah, she just fell down, didn't she? No, she didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I just heard something drop. No, ah, she fell down. Damn it. I need to make sure that she, she can't fall down at all. So what I want to do is this. It tricks the zombies. Okay, you can actually jump My over, right? Oh, wait, but I need to make a that as well. Let's just make it thicker so you don't easily jump off. And then I need to make like walls on the side over here. Okay, we can actually use a bars. I want to make sure she doesn't fall off at all right now. But I want to put her on top of this somehow so she can shoot down at the zombies. And then I want to, I want to keep her there until we are done with this place. Did the drone just move when I tried to play something? It felt like it. Okay, so the vultures we don't have to think of. I'm going to have to make like a ladder system of uh, something for her to get up on. But how? We can do this. We can actually perhaps make a ladder like this. Please tell me she can actually climb blocks. Come on, drone, move. Please remove all personal items to activate storage mode. Oh, you just left stuff on you. Where are we going? Come on. Okay, now I want to do this. I need to make sure I don't block her off. Basically, before she climbs up here, I want to make sure that she can't fall down. So we're going to be doing... Oh, apparently there's bars, corner bars. I didn't even realize this was a thing. You can actually go and make corner bars and shapes and stuff. So that's going to help us over here. I want to be uh, to be able to shoot down, but she mustn't jump down somehow. So if I can block this off as soon as she's up, over here in the corner, where are the bars? Bar. Shape. Oh, there has to be a special bar. Is it just in that one mod? There you go. There you go. Bar's corner. Look at this. I didn't know this was a thing. Now that I do know it's a thing, this is awesome. I need to put it over here as well. Like so. And then I'm going to put blocks on top of this. Like so. I want to make sure she's trapped up here until I let her out. Obviously, if the zombies uh, break the... Thing somehow that's gonna be a problem okay so now i need to place a block here but she's in the way yeah i need to place a ladder there because she's trying to get up to me right now jump 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 
You can do it. You can do it. Uh, no, let's go for normal bars. Okay, you need to come down to me quickly. I can do that. Then you can follow up. Come on. Yes, there you go. Come on, lady. There you go. Okay, now how am I going to get out of here? Can I jump like this? Yes, I can. Why are you ducking like that? Wait, what? He was trying to follow me out, I think. That is so bizarre. Okay, that was kind of weird. Now, I'm going to do this. I could actually put bars all the way around so she doesn't get hit by vomit that easily. She should still be able to shoot through these at the zombies. But where she's going to be most, mostly shooting right now. Okay, you need to follow me quickly. Uh, let's see, let's see. Follow me. Come on, lady. I want to be able to shoot right here. She needs to aim down there. But it's not like she's clever enough to do that. But the zombies might want to try and stack on top of each other over here, and then she's going to be able to kill them easily. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, now you... Guardia. So as soon as whoa lag, as soon as she as the zombies start showing up there, she should be able to shoot down at them. Let's hope this is actually gonna work, and that this thing doesn't cave in because it seems like it's starting to go for max. Oh, please don't cave in, please don't cave in. That's getting very heavy on top. So we're gonna stand here and shoot at the zombies over here, and then I want to make sure that the zombies like we can be able to fall back. I want to make some more bars over here, or have bars in our inventory. That if they get through, we can just quickly shoot them or do whatever. Uh, I think what's going to help with the structural integrity right now is if I actually place full blocks like this. This is adding to the weight as well, to the structural integrity. Or to the feebleness of the integrity. Okay, so the zombies are either going to go up there or they're going to go up here. Let's just make sure they have a proper way up. They're going to be able to run around over here, jump up over here, and then come for me. Now, like I said, they, they will be able to actually get through over here. Uh, what I could do is this, perhaps. I want to put some ramps over here so that I can shoot them easily. Like, if they try and jump, they hit their heads and move back. But then she can't do her job properly. I just hope during all night she actually does her job and she doesn't just stand there like a useless piece of whatever. Okay, um, over here, this side, I'm going to have to put, either put a door or something. I wonder if I should actually go a little bit further this side. I want to do that, and then over here, I'm going to put in bars again. I want to make sure that if the zombies make it through over here, like, for example, they run over here and they jump up, that they can actually get to this over here. And then I'm going to make sure they actually get up on this block by doing this. Because if they land over there... They'll be able to easily break my stuff. Because they're not going to be able to jump, so they're going to try and break these blocks. But like this, they have to jump over. So this is a very nice wall based defense, guys. Basically, all the zombies are going to come from over there. Um, you should technically not put bars over here. So the zombies can't see you and vomit from over there. But like this, if they vomit, you can shoot them with like a long, a long ranged weapon. I'm actually really, look, really, really, really looking forward to this award. Hello, lady down there. Okay, so I wonder if I shouldn't try and get her in as well. Nah, she can just run around, around over here. I could actually buy her service and just tell her to stay in the area. That's something I could do. Because then during ward night, she must just run around and try and kill zombies. And the zombies don't target the nurses and stuff. Um, They only target... Uh, the only, For example, during ward night. The last ward night, I had one of these just running around. The zombies ignored her and came for me. Only the ones that were shot by her. Decided to go and uh, try and kill her. Only those. Yeah, I'm going to try and do this as well. Probably also do it at the side of the... Yeah, oops. The... I want to put double bars, but I'm just afraid the zombies won't see it as a path to me. But they should still see it as a path. Because of the fact that there's a hole over here. Since there's a hole over here, they're going to try and path to me. I just hope that is uh, the right way to do this. I've never tried this kind of defense before, so it's going to be interesting to see whether that works or not. Since I can crawl through there, the zombies are going to see... Oh, I can crawl through there. 
they're going to try and just jump through over and then when they get here they're going to start wailing on this and then perhaps try and uh, move through but by then as long as i just do melee like this it's going to work properly i think okay so we have our weapons over there put that over there what am i missing oh my frames i was about to say there's something that's supposed to be on me that's not on me but yeah unfortunately we had to waste a ton of cobble just now for this but if this works guys like if we know that this lady for example works I'm going to make a proper ladder off so she doesn't fall off during Horde Night. And we'll be able to use her whenever we want. I just want to make sure there's no hole. Please tell me she can't crawl. If she can crawl like a zombie, she might actually try and go through a hole and fall to her death. Because that's quite a bit too full for the NPCs. She has actually quite a bit of HP, so that's a nice thing. Yeah, what trader quest is the closest? This one over here. Wait, let me just first see what other class quests I need to do. Or quests that we can actually do right now. Even if it's not a class quest. I also want to try and see if we can't make some extra large storages already. No, no, no. Don't waste qu uh, coin, John. Do not waste the coin. What I mean by that, guys, is I could easily make some extra large storages right now. But when I reach level 100, I'll be able to go for... This over here. The maxed one. Then we'll be able to write on the storages. We don't have to have signs on them. And they're going to be extra large storage containers. So these are uh, these are extra large, but you can't write on them. And a signed large container. Yeah, we can at the moment we can make a signed one, like the one you can uh, write on, but it's just gonna be large. If we want an extra large one, then we need to wait for level 100. And these are large. So basically, this, but you can write on them. I wanna see if this is large, what's extra large? That's gonna be actually kind of interesting to check. Okay, uh, down, these are the year. What I should probably do is I think we need for COVID and technician still, so we need to keep these here. Um, wait, I don't have finished them already. Quests. 3 out of 5, 3 out of 5. I need Darlene, but I haven't seen a single Darlene yet. The easiest way to get Darlene is just to keep doing quests because you're going to come across her eventually. But damn, why is it so hard? I've been looking all over, but I can't find Darlene. Oh, that's actually for a tool and that's for a weapon. We can put that there. Okay, I need to go sell these things, but I don't know. Should I scrap all of the schematics or should I sell them? Because if you sell all of these, it's at least 2,000 coin, at least. Um, so that might actually help you out in the long run. These schematics do we have already? 250 and 25 over there. Let's just do this. Recipes. See, we should be able to make these. Small bundle. Small, small, small schematics to T0, T1, T2. So we should be able to make this one at least. Um, T0 large, T2 small. T2 small, 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 small. All of these are small. We have one large, but it's a T0. And that's locked. Schematic bundles. Schematic bundles, where are you? I know one of these actually had them, but I just never bought them. If they can actually give me some good loot, why not? Uh, let me see. Mother load, I really want to go for as well. That's classes. Benefits of here. Schematic bundles. Boom. What are these bundles? Unlock the ability to uh, bundle cloth. Oh, no, that's something else. Schematic bundles is to be able to go and make a bundle that's uh, going to give you like random schematics. So uh, we can only get one. The next one is at level 110. Damn. Okay, uh, so we do this, do this. Small, 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 small. Medium. Tier 2 medium, nice, nice, nice. Uh, let's see, small, medium, T1. T2, medium. I want a T2 large, but it's still locked. So for now, T2 medium. Let's just try and make this. I'm guessing I need a special kind of... Bench for this. Static bench, perhaps. Oh, Wandering Horde, finally! Oh, please tell me I'm looking... The lady I'm looking for is over here. And now the NPC isn't here to help anymore. That was Marlene. We already have Arlene. Now where the hell is Darlene? Come on, straight line, straight line, straight line. One headshot's all it takes to kill these zombies. Oh, that one's not dead.
He saw- I don't think Darlene was part of that just now. Are you kidding me? Where's Darlene? I literally only need her and then we can finish this. Oh, XP. How much is that? 100,000. Thank you. See, in this mod, the color of the... The color of the bags matter. In Darkest Falls, the color of the bag does not matter. It doesn't matter if it's a blue, yellow, red. It's going to be good loot. It depends on the zombie that drops the bag. Okay, so, nice. Not bad at all. Especially the XP thing just now. That's going to be awesome. But I think I need a workstation for schematics, right? Fabrication, recycler, tool, armor, blueprint, workstation. So, next thing's next. We need to go for workstations. I'm guessing that's under classes as well. Builder's workstation. No, uh, okay. So, it's not that one. Then it's going to be here somewhere. I know I can make certain ones. What's a health deploy? Push this book to craft a health deploy. Unlocks recipe for crafting a health. What is a health deploy? Is it also like a random thing for health? Or is it actually like uh, it's a uh, uh, med pack? You just drop it there and you can actually heal yourself anytime. I don't know what that is or how that works. Okay, Um. let's see. Doors, scrap armor, iron armor. We're able to make all that armors. Weapons, no thank you. Where's all the workstations? Over here. Blueprint, blueprint. Am I missing something? There's oil pump workstation, scream of lock. Brewery workstation. Harvest tools. I don't see the other workstation. We have all of these unlocked. Axes, these are all usage skills. So the more you use these things, the better. It has to be here then somewhere. So I'm, uh, I'm guessing it's going to be under one of the... Plays with tungsten crowbar. If we can actually make this, that's going to be epic. Yeah, but Boulder's workstation. This is just for what Boulder's. Blueprint workstation. There you go. I was about to say, what the hell? Where is it? Okay, so, Blueprint. Blueprint workstation. Forged steel. 50. We can't afford to waste forged steel. I need forged steel for my 4x4. That's the only way we're going to get the covert class to progress. This is the only steel we have right now. I should actually be able to make a little bit more. Just see. It's day 21, so this should have reset. Do you have... Okay, that's Tradesman Supplies. We'll buy that. Please, I need steel. Like, actual steel. I'll buy it. I'll waste all my coin, but I'll buy it. Ooh, weapon repair kit. See, uh, now all of a sudden it sells these again. But yeah, we need steel, and it doesn't have steel now. I'm guessing it's one of the uh, the ones that we don't have yet. The vending machines that actually give you what you need right now. We're just going to drop all of this stuff off. I think I'm going to call the episode here, guys. And the next episode, we're going to keep on going. If you guys like this episode, please like, share your friends, comments, tips, or feedback to be down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please give me a the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more War of the Walkers fun. A big thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.